I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire Vero model. These are laptops are recycled laptops, they are listed chassis, the case are recycled material and that's why they call them Green Planet, they have it. They do come with a iCore 7, iCore 5. The specific model for this one is an AV15-52-77NH. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can increase how you can increase the storage and what kind of storage you can have in here and what are the suitable storage that you should uh, look into. These laptops they do come with an SSD drive in here. I seen on the website that they say the maximum they can go up to one terabyte. That's really not true. We have installed this one with a two terabyte NVMe M.2 without any issues. I have no idea why they say and even on the benchmark performance with the 2TB they have zero issue running. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open up and how you can replace uh, the SSD in here or remove it. Just remember by doing removing the hard drive in here you're going to lose all your windows, your files, everything like that. So back up your files on an external hard drive or on a cloud. And I made a really short video how to create your windows on a USB stick. I'll leave that link in the video description. That's really easy and free to do. And also I made another video how to install the proper way your windows from that USB drive. It takes up to probably 10 minutes tops to install the new windows and you do windows update. All the drivers, everything will be installed and you can just put your files back in freshly and ready to go. Your product license key will be attached to your uh, email account. So whatever account that you, Microsoft account that you use initially on this computer on the main, on the, on the day that you purchased it, the, and the product key or the CD key is attached, linked to your Microsoft account. So once you install the new windows in here, you just simply have to put your account and your windows will be activated uh, as normally. All right, uh, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFix screwdriver set kit. If you get the pro set, they'll include you with some tweezers and opening tools. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. Uh, for the opening tool, I'm using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable for opening cases. They use, for the opening tool that they come with this case, they're pretty much a guitar pick with a handle. So it is the same thing. All right, so we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching. Go ahead and start from one corner and remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content are helping you guys to do your own uh, service upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. There we go. Once we remove all the screws, now we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna poke it down about one or two millimeters. We're not gonna stick the whole thing in here. One or two millimeters, just like that, in here. And we're gonna twist it backward. And we're gonna hear a big click. So you wanna do that every one or two centimeters. And you wanna hear those nice and click sounds. That's what you wanna hear all around. You wanna do this all around. Once you go to the corner, same thing in the corner, stick it right in there and twist it. Go on the side, same thing. I usually do the back and the sides. I don't go to the front end, but you can do the front if you wish. Do the side. All right, once I did the front and the side, I usually grab it from here and wiggle it around and it will release itself from the front side. The clips that they're getting loose are these ones right over here. All right, now we're going to put the bottom cover to one side. And down here, we're going to see the motherboard, the big battery, the RAM, and the SSD drive is right here. They do give you with an Western Digital RAM, which is not bad. It's actually good. But you can upgrade this one up to 2 terabyte with no issue, unlike what they say on their website. You just remember to do any upgrades. You don't need to remove the battery at all. Uh, but if for those people that are really paranoid, they want to remove the battery, all you have to do is remove the gaffer stable or the cables. 
You want to put your fingernails on the side of the jack, on the white side, and then you want to pull it backward straight. Don't pull it sideways straight, and that's how you disconnect the battery. To put it back in, make sure always you put it evenly inside the jack, and then you want to pinch it right in there evenly. Just pinch them evenly, don't put it sideways, go straight in. Okay, but for the upgrades, you do not need to do this. Just leave it in there, don't risk removing the battery. Uh, for the SSD, there is no space for M.2. Uh, I mean, there's no space for 2.5 inch SATA connect uh, hard drive in here. You only can put one M.2 SSD in here, which is on PCI Express. To remove it, you have to remove one screw at the back. Once you remove this tiny screw, the hard drive will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. It will lift itself. All you need to do is pull it back in the same angle that it came out. And there you have it. Now you can replace this one uh, with one terabyte. You can replace it with whatever other brand that you want. I recommend you highly go with a Samsung brand, Samsung uh, Plus or Samsung Pro NVMe hard drive. I'll leave the link for some of the good brands. They are really durable and they will last you many years. Let's say that you got the new hard drive, new M.2. You want to make sure the notch on the M.2 matches the notch right on the DIMM. So don't try putting it that way around. It will not go through. Make sure the notch matches and right there. And you want to bring it down in 15, 10 degree. And you want to push it inside the jack all the way in. Make sure all the connectors are in there. Now, how you know it's all the way in? When you bring it down, make sure the screw hole is nicely matched up. And what you want to do, you just want to... Tighten up the screw, not too tight, not too soft, neither. Firmly put it in there. And there, and now you have your SSD in there. If you have this going to the battery, plug it back in. Okay, now that you have it in there, now the next step. The next step down here is to grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, and then squeeze the corners. Make sure you hear those click sounds on the clips, on the back. And there we have it. The last thing is to just put the bottom screws in its place. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.